skin. Yeah, in the back. Um, thank you so much, Ryan, and thanks to everybody for coming. It's great to be here. I'm going to read three poems. Um, the first poem I wanted to read because one of the main characters is actually a couch I had in Iowa City, <laughs> so it seemed appropriate. <clears throat> a timeshare. Five o'clock again in the rented living room. Nothing wrong. Heliotrope continuing to fade into upholstery. Buttons pressing back against the back of the couch make the surface cave, just decorative. Faint gardens stamped on a cotton throw. And that the world. Yes, no. Yes, though. If there's such a thing as time at all, I never saw it move. And if that's so, then what am I afraid of? I hung a muslin curtain to prove breeze, a nimble petal, tall fluctuating seraphim who keeps watch over me. Q, what are you doing down there in the meantime? X, all day I am an orchard at midday when the stunned air pauses, bronze and stupid, terse with flies. Don't lie, I'm in the living room. Seconds dropping from the faucet to the metal bed of the sink. This is your one, now this is, now late. Nobody waits for thee on the greeny moor where I was laying all stuck with you. Or the queue, do you recall the dream of a point repaired to when alone? Some to the landfill, some to the promontory, each with a small smooth stone tapping soft on his chest or clicking against his teeth when on his tongue. Once you thought you would learn what to do with yourself by yourself. Once the stakes flash high as a view from the beautiful private plane, all persons disappear and he alone looks down on freeways embroidering the vacant earth. It was still early in my life. X, go along, touch your eye. Do you know how to do that thing of whispering a fact repeatedly until it stops being true? Return to this apartment after being gone a while to find everything replaced with replicas, identically arranged. The cedar desk had the same false front as before and fitted with the same brass garland handle, still unable to pull out a drawer because it is no drawer. That was the soul. Home furnished with secondhand pieces. White hooded lamps are nursed to me all night when I can snap space open like a parachute, make the walls up. When I lived out a summer with a blind man by the sea, he kept a steady squint. I closed my eyes. It was still early then in my brief life. Evenings, every morning at the folding table, painting his toast black with marmite. Once she was me, we took turns for the bed. A room with everything white except the book spines makes you feel the good kind of dead. When is it? Someone's kid downstairs leans on the bell again. Lived winters half an hour away or seven minutes on the red line, times he had me scissor bracken stalks to stanch the mud floor of the animal shed. From space, the night's a hammock swinging gently out across our earth. Each fall slushed over. Bird calls, tiny screws, creaking shut your mind. When I used my fingernail to scrape white tallies on my naked ankle, then. Think of the long trip home. You're already home. All the loyal idiot details know what to do to stay believable. But you, you who sit and let the light rust, reddening all around you, waiting for anyone to come and tell you to get up, get up. Nobody is 